man, get out my face, dude. Damn. What's going on, YouTube? What's going on, Legacy Gaming Hub? It's midnight. Back again with some more Wii U Beast Game... Wait, what? This ain't the Wii U? Nah, I'm just fucking with you guys. Man, this is the Beast system here. I'm on the Xbox 360, like I usually do. Playing some Kill Confirmed on the map Slums. And uh, I started off this game, man. These dudes were camping hard as fuck in this blue building. Uh, people do that a lot. And I was using the AN-94. And it just wasn't working out very well for me. So I switched my class here. And uh, I go on a nice little tear. I'm using this Vector. The Vector is a beast-ass gun. And I'm just going loud here. I got no silencer. I think what I got on here is the Fast Mag and the Laser Sight. And this is some pre-patch gameplay here. This is before the uh, the submachine gun nerf. And uh, I haven't actually used this since then. I am recording this gameplay on uh, Saturday, December 8th. So it probably won't be uploaded for a little while. So by the time this is uploaded, you're going to be like, Man, you haven't played since the patch? Like, nah, man, the patch just came out this morning, alright? So, you know, I don't know. I don't know exactly at this point how these guns are going to work post-patch. If you don't know, and by now, I'm sure you do, they uh, they just dropped a patch here, and they did nerf the submachine guns, which I think needed to happen. You know, I think that's a good thing. No big deal there. Uh, they made it so that all submachine guns have more recoil when oh. hip-firing, uh, also a bigger spread, meaning less accuracy when hip-firing, and then they also nerfed the MSMC and the PDW, even oh. when you're um, aiming down sights, it's got more recoil. So I haven't personally tried that out yet, at the time I am sending you my awesome voice here, but I'm sure by the time you're watching this, you know, we know what's going on. I still believe, I'm hearing that the MSMC is still pretty good because the recoil goes straight up and down, which is nice, that maybe give you some headshots, but the PDW I'm hearing is kind of all over the place. So I think that makes sense, though, because the PDW, it's got a 50-round magazine. You know what I mean? So it already has an advantage. The MSMT only has a 30-round clip or magazine. So it makes sense that the MSMC should be a little bit better because you're going to have to reload and you're going to have to add attachments to, uh, to supplement the lack of ammunition, whereas the PDW, you don't have to do that. So that makes sense to me. Anyway, in this gameplay here, this is some uh, some decent gameplay. Nothing super spectacular. I did die quite a bit in this game. Um, I have some better gameplays, honestly, that I could have used. But I chose to use this one because it's kind of a tale of, uh, of two things here. This is kind of an educational video, if you will. Because you'll see that when I was doing good in this gameplay is when I wasn't rushing balls out. And I get out, I get my kill streaks by doing that, by playing a little bit cautious. Um, at least after I got that first streak, I started to play more cautiously because I didn't want to die on my streak. Engineer, son, use it, good perk. Um, but once I got my first kill streak, I really slowed it down. You know, I'm not going to die on my streak. I want to get my Lodestar. The Lodestar is amazing. Definitely recommend using the Lodestar. Uh, I'm kind of low level here right now. I think probably the best kill streak combination at this point would probably be either Lodestar Dogs Swarm or uh, VSAT maybe Lodestar and Dogs. Any type of any type of combination like that will be good. But anyway, that's enough about the gameplay. You know, you see you see what it is. Try not to rush too hard, guys. That's the biggest advice that I can give you guys. You know, you don't want to be a camper. You don't want to be, you know, some, one of these bitches that sit around and camp because that's not cool. Nobody's going to respect that. And you're not going to get that many kills, to be honest. But you also don't want to be just balls out rushing because when you do that, you're going to miss things. And you're going to get shot in the back and in the side. So you got to try to find that perfect blend. That's the biggest advice I could give you guys. Uh, but anyway, you know, I'm Midnight. If you don't know, check out my channel. I post some pretty good gameplay entertaining commentaries and I also post your videos on my channel so why don't you guys out there you got channels you want to try to get some exposure um, some extra exposure come on over to my channel you can send me clips for my top five plays and you can send me full-length gameplays for my friends Friday series and if you are selected 
you know, I will put it up on my channel, link and annotation and everything to your channel, and you can get some exposure and maybe pick up some subscribers. And isn't that what we all want as I get stuck right there like a noob and get owned? This gameplay is about to wrap up. I hope you guys enjoyed. This Vector is a really good gun. I recommend that you guys try it, man. It's a lot of fun. It's kind of like the Scorpion Evo, but it doesn't run out of ammo quite as quick. And, uh, you know, it's a little bit more versatile, I think. Anyways, I don't have shit else to say. This video is about over 98 kills. You see, I was rushing too hard there. That's why I got owned. But I do get the kill cam right here. And I'm midnight. I'm out. Peace. Operation complete. Nice job, grunts.